Hi guys, early morning in uh, Nongkai, actually northwest of Nongkai. Uh, the Mekong River is just down there, a few hundred meters. Beautiful area and there's also a lot of nice resorts here. By the, yeah, especially by the riverside, but also here by the motorway. Uh, this is not particularly nice where we stay, but it's actually clean and the cottages are nice. So I'm happy, it's very cheap, but you know, it's enough when you're just staying here for a few, few days. So what I want to talk to you guys uh, about uh, some specific uh, question that I got last night, uh, because he, first he wanted a um, system without batteries, and then he was asking, I want batteries when they become available, the new batteries in a few years. So, as you probably know, if you have followed our group, is that you can't put batteries on inverters that are made not to have them. So you have two dif different technologies. You have the on-grid inverters. You can't put batteries on them. There's no battery connections. So, there's that. There are some brands that have possibility, they have sort of integrated battery connections in their on-grid inverters. Uh, Huawei has that. But Huawei has so many other drawbacks that compared to Alpha and uh, yeah, some other brands, I would not recommend it. We did work um, with uh, Huawei before and even though the inverters are okay, the, their battery solution, first of all, is more expensive than Alpha. Second of all, it's not as good in many, many elements, are not comparable. But I won't get into that here. The point of this video is that most inverters that are on the market, that are made for on-grid situations, you can't put batteries on them. Uh, so that means that in the future you can't put, put the future batteries, or and also you can't put the batteries that exist today. So why is that? Well, the reason for that is that in an inverter uh, there's one inverter that converts DC to AC. But in a hybrid inverter where you can put batteries, there's two inverters. So then when you have an inverter with one inverter, you just can't technically have batteries on it because you need an inverter with two inverters. So why do you have to have two inverters when you have a battery system? The reason is because when there is a power cut, the other, the second inverter takes over. So it's completely separate, and it must be like that, because if not, you would send electricity out to the grid. So that's just how battery systems work. Uh, so then the question, of course, is why can't you buy an inverter that's ready for batteries and just use it without batteries? And then when the batteries come that you want, you install them. This is possible, and we have done it in the past. The problem with that is that many people are waiting for the new battery technology, whatever it will be, a solid state or something else. And then I can almost guarantee that those new batteries you cannot put on the old battery inverter. Most likely not. And why do I think that? Well, there is, it's always been like that. When a new technology comes, they have a new solution. And old batteries you just can't put on, uh, or you can't use old inverters on the new batteries, most likely. So if you're planning that, let's say you want to plan, we call that a battery ready system, put in new batteries in two, three years, when the new technology comes, whenever that happens, most likely you can't. So. Then, to summarize, what is my recommended solution if you want to be as much battery ready as possible? Is actually to just install a normal inverter for on-grid, if you want on-grid system first. And then, when the time comes that the batteries are ready, you change that inverter. Get the latest uh, inverter technology with the new batteries. That's my recommended solution. And that, that is very good unless you want batteries in a very short time. If you want batteries in a year or less, then my recommendation is just to go with the battery system immediately. Then there's no point in doing that step. Because an on-grid inverter costs around 
I'm talking about 5 kilowatt now. If you have a high quality like SunGrow, around 40,000, can be a little bit more even. And that's pretty much what you save on a 5 kilowatt for one year. So if it's around one year, then it makes no sense. Then you should just go for batteries immediately or just wait completely with the, with installing if if batteries are what you are after so so that's my recommendations and a little bit technical information about why so i hope that helps <laughs>